Hi, first graders. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful weather. Um, when I recorded this, it was, um, or yesterday was a really, really nice day. So I hope that you are outside and playing around and able to have some fun and take a break from school every once in a while. So today we're gonna have a quick little video to remind ourselves of um, Todd, TT, and rest. So I've written a whole bunch on the board. So we're gonna get started with some echo clapping. I will go first. Tee tee ta ta ta. Ta tee tee ta rest. Tee tee rest. Tee tee ta. Rest rest. Tee tee ta. All right, good. I hope that was helpful. And let's talk about the rhythms that we know so far. We know ta, we know ti ti, we know now what? Rest. Okay, so let's remind ourselves of what musicians call these rhythms. So the first one is called a quarter note. So a quarter note is what musicians call it. And it usually actually has a note head on it. it looks like this okay and then these are called what do musicians musicians call those eighth notes and each eighth note is worth how many beats remember we had talked about tt being one beat so that means each of these can't be one beat because one plus one is two so we have to make these smaller than one and they're both equal in size or length so we say this one is a half and this is a half and you may not know much about fractions yet but i'm sure that if you wanted to if you had your friend over and you had an orange and you wanted to give them the same amount that you had and you're sharing it you would split it in half and it's the same idea with eighth notes each one is worth how much? One half. All right, and then we know this is one silence over one beat. And because it's one beat long and it's one silence, musicians call this also by the same starting name, quarter. And so this is a quarter note because it makes sound, and this is a quarter rest because it doesn't make sound. All right, so let's review that. Musicians call this quarter note. Musicians call these eighth notes. Musicians call this quarter rest. And each of the eighth notes is worth how much? A half a beat. All right, let's practice our rests today and all the other things we know. So get your hands ready. I'm going to point to it. Um, and what we're going to do is stop briefly and then we'll go to the next one. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ti, ti, rest, ta, ready, go. Ti, 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 ta, rest, ready, go. Rest, rest, ti, ti, ta, ready, go. Ti, ti, rest, ti, ti, ta. And last one, go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, rest. Okay, I helped you out with each of those. Now I'm going to point to it and you say it. I'm just gonna point to the beginning and you have to keep the beat. I think I'm gonna snap my fingers and you're gonna keep the beat and say each one, okay? Here we go. Ready, go. All right, let's do the next one. Ready, go. Okay, and the next one, get your hands open. Ready, go. Okay, and this one, ready, go. Good, and this last one, ready, go. When you get your rests done, are you opening your hands and feeling that beat going by? Let's do that, okay? All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go without stopping. So each one of these we're gonna call a measure 
This line divides them up. Musicians call this section a measure. And each measure has how many beats? One, two, three, four. So each one has four beats. When musicians get to the end, they draw an end symbol, which is a thin line again, followed by a thick line. So I didn't just draw taws. You can see these are long and they go longer than the taw. Okay, so we're gonna go right through this together and then you do it alone and then we'll be done. Here we go. One, two, ready with me. Ta, T T rest, ta, T T T T ta, rest, 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 T T ta, T T rest, T T ta, ta, T T ta, rest. How'd you do? Hopefully good. Okay, now we're gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna just point to each measure as it goes by and see if you can follow along. One thing musicians do is they are constantly looking ahead. So when you're on this taw and you're clapping it, your eyeballs should be right here, okay? Here we go. I'm just gonna point to the beginning of the measure that you should be on. I'm gonna snap my fingers to keep the beat. And here we go. One, two, ready, begin. All right, how'd you do? I hope you did well. You probably did, because you guys are smarty pants. Um, go ahead and do this video a couple more times this week if you can, and practice all this um, good information. I look forward to seeing you next week.